Welcome to N4 Electro Techniques. And in this video, we'll be looking at the stacking factor of single phase transformers. To define the stacking factor, the stacking factor is the ratio of the effective area to the physical area of the core of the transformer. Transformer cores are made of laminated steel sheets to reduce the effects of eddy currents in the core. The stacking factor depends on the thickness of the laminations. The magnetic flux of the core is higher when the slices are stacked rather than a solid iron core. In the equations that we're going to be using for our stacking factor and our calculations for single phase transformers, you'll notice that the EMF on the primary side is equal to 4,44 multiplied by the frequency of 50 hertz, normally 50 hertz, but it could change. And then we have the maximum flux per pole in Weber. And then we have the number of primary turns. Or we could calculate the EMF on the secondary side, which is 4,44 multiplied by the frequency in hertz, multiplied by the maximum flux measured in Weber, and then the number of secondary turns. The other equation or formula we'll be using is the maximum flux per pole in Weber is equal to the strength of the magnetic field measured in Tesla, uh, multiplied by the area in meters square, and then we multiply by the stacking factor. In this calculation, 150 kVA, 2,200 on the primary, and 400 volts on the secondary, 50 hertz, single phase transformer has a gross cross-sectional area of 0 0.025 meters square. If the magnetic flux density must not exceed 1,5 Tesla for a stacking factor of 0.93, we need to determine the following. In part A, the maximum magnetic flux. To calculate the magnetic flux or the maximum magnetic flux, it is the flux density in Tesla multiplied by the area in meters square and multiplied by the stacking factor of 0.93. And that gives us a maximum flux per pole in Weber of 0.035 Weber. In part B, if we need to calculate the number of primary turns, we can use the EMF on the primary side. And we just manipulate the equation so that we have an EMF on the primary side of 2,200 divided by 4,44, divided by the frequency of 50 Hertz, and then divided by the maximum flux of 0.035. And then if we round it off, we'll have 284 turns. To calculate the number of secondary turns, we'll use the EMF on the secondary side of 400 volts divided by 4,4 and divided by the frequency of 50 hertz and the maximum flux of 0.035. And if you round it off, the number of turns on the secondary side will be 52. To calculate the EMF per turn, if we you can use the primary side or the secondary side, but if you use the primary side, It'll be the primary EMF of 2,200 divided by the number of turns on the primary side, which was 284, which implies we have 7,746 volts per turn. To determine the uh, turns ratio, we have the number of turns on the primary side versus the number of turns on the secondary side. You'll notice that the 52 is a smaller value. It will go into itself once and it will go into 284, 5,462 times. So therefore we have a ratio of 5,462 on the primary and one on the secondary. Okay, thanks for watching this video for the stacking factor of single phase transformers.